and welcome to WPLMS tutorials in the latest update of WPLMS student app we have added a lot of new features so first of all we have upgraded the app to the latest version which is the ionic v4 so ionic hyphen v and you can see that my current version of ionic 5.2.5 which is the latest version and if I type in ionic info you can see the CLI is 5.2.5 the ionic framework is 3.9.2 the Cordova CLI is also updated to the latest version which is 8.1.2 and the Cordova platform is also updated to the latest stable version which is 4.5.5 so we are yet to test with Cordova 5.0 the remaining plugins all of the plugins have been updated to the latest version and we have updated our app on the uh, apple app store so let's just see what all features have been added so in our previous versions we added the firebase the um, which is which was required for the chat then we added the wallet uh, in app products and we have added the uh, mp3 inbuilt mp3 caching we have added the assignments we have added the notes and discussions feature and we have added the uh, bb press forums integration and we have added the batches integration as well and the members directory along with the chat so a lot of features have been added in if you're upgrading to 2.6 version so in this tutorial I'm also going to show you how to how to publish for iOS because many of our users are facing uh, this issue so basically I follow a simple method I keep two separate pro projects of the same WPLMS app one for the Android version and one for the iOS version although the code base is exactly the same but there are some differences in the config.xml file so just to avoid conflicts between the Cordova plugins I, I keep those two in two different pro projects so the one which we are discussing right now is the iOS project so as you can see I have upgraded my ionic to the latest version and if I do the Cordova plugins and if you want to see the Cordova plugins you can simply type Cordova so here we have the Cordova plugin list I have some challenge with the Google sign in so I have used the 7.0.2 version instead of the latest 8.0 version for the iOS app if you see I, I do not have the Cordova iOS deploy plugin because I like to deploy the app from the uh, Xcode so let's get started I'm going to remove uh, my platform which is the iOS platform from the uh, Ionic app So this is our ionic folder and this is our app and here in the platforms if you see there is no platform installed so if I simply add the platform iOS and you may need to regenerate the resources the resources are basically the the icon and splash screen files so these files are basically broken down into various formats into various sizes as you can see for different version of the app on different devices okay so now I have added the iOS platform in the platforms I will see the iOS folder here so note that now if we simply go and run build iOS we are going to face few issues all right so 
so the first one which we face is the error code 65 command x code build will build with arcs so as i said that i do not have the ios deploy so first to open the the project in the xcode i need to first add myself in the ios folder because if i simply go to get info i do not have although i am the administrator i am not if i simply go and double click on this so i keep on getting this error that this particular app is locked and i cannot unlock it even though i am the administrator so for this i have to do is i go to the ios folder go to get info and unlock right and add myself and the administrators to the uh, to the list who can who have the access to all the folders and apply it on all the enclosed items this is a very important step so once i have this i can open the xc works workspace file yes so now i have opened this and if i if i let's say try and go to product and build the app so here we see few errors on the first one is that that there is a signing error as you can see so what we need to do is we need to go to the uh, go to the app and in the general we need to although this is checked as automatically manage signing we need to first uncheck it and then check check this so this is kind of a bug in in xcode that when we again check it only and click on enable automatic only then the automatic signing applies and we need to select the your developer account here so once you have selected the developer account there is another thing that we need to do which is in the xcode file there is workspace settings and here instead of the new build system we need to click select the legacy build system and click done now now we can test the app on the any of the phones so let's select iphone xr and it is going to open the simulator so here is our app and this below part is the debugger which you can use for debugging the app so here is our app and all the data is being pulled from the site wplms.io and here is the important part here you can see that we have the groups and batches members directory forums directory so these are the new features which have been added plus we have upgraded the whole system to ionic v4 so if we go to groups and batches you can see that we are getting the groups and batches and you can use the sort option to sh show only groups or only batches to view a batch you can you can you have to be logged in so that is the default restriction it can be changed so next if you view the members directory so these are all the members which are listed again this is infinitely loading screen and if somebody is online you see a green dot and you can also search and then we have the forums directory so this is the forum directory which is being pulled from the wplms.io so these are the live forums which are coming in our ios app from the site so these are the bb press forum this is pretty pretty good so if you go to any of the forum app so as you can see so this is the B this is like a mini bb press app so if you log in you can actually reply on it but in our uh, demo app we have restricted this function so note that we have hidden the private reply so none of your confidential data is exposed here 
so the student reply as you can see all my replies I can see as edit and delete and I can add a new reply here okay so at, at this point of time we have restricted the reply creation and you can delete and you can edit and all those things are possible So in case if you want to check other features like notes and description, let's quickly go through them. Go to my courses. So right, so you also see a batch section here. It's going to pull all the batches that you are enrolled in. And in the courses. Right. So let's see if we can see the notes and discussion section. Okay, so we are seeing the notes and discussions here. You click on it, you can you can see that we are actually using the notes and discussion here, and you can edit and you can reply on it. So all these features have been added. I just couldn't get. So as you can see, so so that's it from WPLM tutorials. Thanks for watching.